line of the prism underscore command back to its original by putting back the 64 part. Now the tabletop is made up of two parts. These are the mirrored images of each other. We could script both separately, or we can use so-called subroutines to save programming effort. A subroutine is a portion of GDL which contains code that needs to be executed more than once. In such a case, it's advisable to put this code into a subroutine and call this subroutine several times to perform the same task again and again. A subroutine has three parts. One, a label. Two, the actual code of the subroutine. And three, a return command. We will make a subroutine out of this prism underscore command. Modify your code in the following way. We put a label before the prism underscore command. A label can be a number or a text string with a colon after it. Example 100 colon. The return command tells ARCHICAD that the subroutine is finished and now it can return to that line of code that called the subroutine and continue executing the code from the next line there. Subroutines must be called to be executed. The command used for calling a subroutine is called GoSub. In the 3D script window, place the following lines of code after the adds line. The GoSub command will call our subroutine at label 100. The end command ends the script. The reason it's needed is because otherwise the code would again reach the 100 colon label and execute the commands of the subroutine again. However, when it reaches the return command, it would give an error message because the code cannot return to anywhere, since it was not called by a GoSub command. The way these kinds of scripts are structured is subroutines are usually placed at the end of the script and they are always preceded by an end command. Activate the 3D view. See that this actually did not modify the generated shapes. The lines that generate the shape are executed only once. Between the go sub and end lines, paste three lines of code so the result will be the following. We already know the mulex minus one command, M-U-L-X, and the advantage of the subroutine now becomes apparent we mirror the direction of the x-axis of our local coordinate system and again call the subroutine to generate the mirror tabletop piece. After returning from the subroutine, we undo the mulex command with the del, del, command to restore the state of the local coordinate system prior to calling the macro the second time. Activate the 3D view to see the result. The other mirrored tabletop piece was generated. For the next task, we want to generate the insert piece in the middle. Place the following code before the end statement in the 3D script. Here, we see another if-then structure. ARCHICAD will check the value of the show underscore insert parameter. As you can see in the parameter list, the show underscore insert parameter is a Boolean type parameter. It can have two states, on and off or in other words, yes or no. Numerically, this translates to 1 for on or yes and 0 for off or no. In logic, 1 also means true, whereas 0 means false. In the above if-then structure, it is executed when the condition show underscore insert evaluates to true. This happens when the show underscore insert value is set to on, or yes, or one. If it is turned off, no, or zero, it will evaluate to false, and the commands after the if-then line are not executed. Select the show underscore insert parameter in the parameter list and set it to on by clicking into its checkbox in its value field. Activate the 3D view window to see the result. You can now see that the insert piece has been generated. However, it now occupies the same place as the other two tabletop pieces. In real life, we would slide the top pieces sideways to make room for the insert piece. We will do the same in GDL. Find the 100 colon label in the 3D script 
and insert the following code between the 100 colon label and the beginning of the prism underscore command. First of all, what we need to do is to move the tabletop piece along the x-axis. We need to do it for both pieces, so we do it in the subroutine. We need to move it with half the width of the inset piece for both sides. This is a tricky statement. What it does is it takes the insert underscore length per two value and multiplies it with the value of show underscore insert, which is either zero or one. The result will be either zero or insert underscore length per two. So in this case, the show underscore insert parameter is off. The distance it needs to be moved is zero, while if it is on, the distance is insert underscore length per two. So this one line of code solves it for us. Insert the following line of code after the prism underscore command and before the return command. Check the result in the 3D view. The insert piece is now correctly in the middle and the two top pieces are not overlapping it. Insert the following code after the if then command and before the end command in the 3D script. This step will return the local coordinate system to the same position as the global coordinate system before we start creating the legs of the table. Save the changes made to the object. This concludes this chapter. In the next chapter, we will continue building out table object and learn even more about the programming environment and various commands.